Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSA. In this video, we are going to discuss about TLM analysis interface. So what is this TLM analysis interface? So basically the UVM analysis port is a TLM based class that is going to provide a right method for communication. TLM analysis port broadcast transactions to one or multiple components. So previously we were having uh, the communication between only two components two components like this okay so we were using either put port or we were using get port and we are using put method and get method okay and th this is only single way communication okay but using this tlm analysis interface we can broadcast our messages we can broadcast our transactions from one component to multiple components from one component to multiple components like this we can broadcast the transactions using this tlm analysis interface in tlm analysis interface we are going to have a method which is known as a write method okay so using this method we are going to broadcast our messages so UVM analysis port can be open without any implementation of UVM analysis implementation or UVM analysis export. Okay, you can just uh, declare the UVM analysis port and you can leave it. So in this particular case, you are going to use TLM analysis V4. Single UVM analysis port can have a connection with UVM analysis implementation or UVM analysis export. Okay, so using a single port can be connected to implementation port as well as it also be connected to an export. Okay, and there will be no errors that will be reported. Multiple UVM analysis ports can be connected to single UVM implementation port or UVM analysis export. So that's what we have seen, right? So the broadcasting, so that is it can be possible. Now, what are the valid connections? So we can connect a port. So basically we can connect a port to a port and we can connect a port to an export as well as we can connect a port to an implementation port, export to export and export to an implementation port. You cannot, you cannot connect implementation port to an export. Okay. So these are the valid connections which are possible and coming to the uh, symbol of your analysis sim, uh, port. This is the symbol of our analysis port and how we are going to declare our analysis port. These are the syntaxes. So first one is UVM analysis port and the parameterized class it is a parameterized class followed by handle name this is the first representation and followed by second representation is uvm analysis implementation this is implementation port where it is going to have two arguments in our previous videos also when we are discussing about implementation ports we have seen it was having the implementation ports were was having two arguments one is the transaction item and another is the receiver component name and followed by the handle name and the third representation is your export uvm analysis export just the handle name and followed by the just the transaction item name followed by the uh, port name so these are the this this is how you are going to declare your port implementation port and export now let us see this example where we are having a producer this is a component which is having an analysis port so this is an analysis port and these are our analysis implementation ports this circle are our analysis implementation port so the consumer a consumer b consumer c is having analysis implementation port and using a single port we are accessing all these three analysis implementation ports basically we are connecting single port to three analysis implementation ports okay so let us try to implement this using our eda background so let us first so let us first uh, try to declare this uh, module which is known as producer first let me include the libraries tick include uvm macros dot svh and uh, let me import my package uvm package so here uh, i am going to declare my producer or before declaring my producer let me create a transaction item so let me create a transaction item class transaction which is extending uvm object so let me register this uvm underscore object underscore utils transaction and within a new function string name is equal to transaction super dot new of name and end function so i've declared a uh, function new function now uh, here i'm going to have uh, let's say int data is equal to some let's say 20 okay yes and followed by end class so this is my transaction class i've declared here 
now let me declare my producer so class producer which is extending from uvm component let me register this now within a function new let me copy this transaction comma uvm component parent okay and super dot new of name comma parent now this producer class is going to have your analysis port handle okay so let me declare that analysis port uvm analysis port and what is the our uh, argument here we are going to have is our class name that is transaction transaction and followed by the uh, ha port handle name let's say it is producer underscore put okay so this is the handle name and here i am going to create the instance of that handle <coughs> producer underscore put is equal to new and here i am going to provide the name producer underscore put comma this so this is how i've created the instance of this and let me include run face run underscore face uvm face super dot run underscore face now here i am going to create the instance of my uh, sequence item so here i am going to create the instance of my transaction item so let me first of all create the handle for this so transaction t underscore h and here i am going to create the instance of this t underscore h is equal to transaction type id create create t underscore h comma this i have created this now I'm going to randomize this t underscore h dot randomize. I'm going to use assert assertion. So I'm going to randomize this particular thing and I'm going to display tick uvm underscore info get underscore type underscore name. The value of data is percentage d comma t underscore h dot data followed by uvm underscore none and now i am going to use this uh, port handle producer underscore put i am going to use this port handle producer dot put dot write and i am going to send this object that is my t underscore h followed by end task and end class that's it so this is my producer class now i have declared my producer class now let me declare my consumer a consumer b and consumer c so let me declare those classes class and register this so this is my consumer underscore a okay and in consumer underscore a we should have the uh, implementation port handle we should declare the implementation port handle right so how we can declare uvm underscore implementation underscore sorry uvm underscore analysis underscore imp underscore uvm underscore analysis underscore imp hash what I'm going to have is my transaction comma where it is ex uh, executed that is consumer underscore a yes so I have declared and uh, the port name let's say it is uh, consumer underscore imp so this is the port name now let me declare the instance of my trans uh, let me create the handle for my transaction class also t underscore h okay so within a function new uh, the name of this is producer and this is consumer consumer underscore a okay um component parent and uh, this is consumer underscore imp consumer underscore imp 
Okay, I have created the instance of my consumer, uh, my implementation port, and uh, yes. Now within a virtual, now I am going to declare a function which is known as write virtual function void. So I am going to declare a function. Return type is void, and the function name is write. So this write function, the producer was calling. Okay, and this write function is having one argument of transaction class transaction. T underscore h okay now in this uh, write function what we are going to do is just simply displaying uvm info get underscore type underscore name dollar s formative received value is percentage d comma t underscore h dot data okay and followed by our verbosity level uvm underscore low. So this is how I'm uh, declaring my write function followed by end function and end class. And let me declare one more class which is known as my consumer underscore b. So class consumer underscore b which is extending from uvm component. And uh, this is also going to have my uvm analysis port interface analysis underscore IMP hash transaction comma consumer underscore B and the name of this uh, handle is let's say consumer B or let's say it is B underscore IMP okay and uh, let me copy this from this one so let me copy this and let me paste it in the consumer B yes so in the consumer b um, i have declared them and uh, let me copy the registration syntax also in, into the consumer b yes so this is consumer b and this is consumer b yes name comma parent and this is uh, b underscore imp and this is b underscore imp okay this is b underscore imp okay that's it. So just I'm displaying the data. Now, uh, within one more class that is consumer underscore C. This is consumer underscore C class consumer underscore C, which is extending from UVM underscore component. Let me copy this and paste it over in the consumer C class. So the name of this is consumer underscore C. Let's say it is C underscore IMP. Okay. And the name of the class is consumer underscore C. Argument is consumer underscore C. This is C underscore IMP. C underscore IMP. Just I'm copying uh, from the upper class. Yes. So I've declared all the three classes consumer A, consumer B, consumer C. Okay. Now let me create an environment class environment which is extending extends UVM underscore environment. Let me register it. UVM underscore component underscore utils environment so function new string name is equal to environment comma uvm component so super dot new of name comma parent end function now so within a function void build phase so in build phase what we are going to do first we are going to pass it super dot uh, build phase uvm phase we are going to pass the argument now so here we are going to create the instances of all the classes that is our producer consumer a consumer b consumer c okay so let me first of all create the handles for them here let me create the handle producer P underscore H consumer underscore A C A underscore H consumer underscore B C B underscore H and consumer underscore C C C underscore H. Okay. So I have declared all my uh, handles consumer A, consumer B, consumer C. Now let me create the instances of them in the build phase. So producer that is p underscore h 
that is producer type id create p underscore h and uh, ca underscore h consumer type id create C A underscore H comma this and let me copy this line so this is C B underscore H this is C B underscore H this is C C underscore H and consumer underscore C followed by end function now in this uh, in the build phase we are going to create all the instances so in the build phase we have created all the instances now in the connect phase let us try to connect them so function void connect underscore phase uvm phase phase and uh, super dot connect underscore phase now here I am going to connect uh, my uh, producer with my consumers. So p underscore h, so p underscore h dot. I am going to access my uh, port instance, which is nothing but producer underscore put, producer underscore put dot connect, and my consumer instance ca underscore h dot, and my consumer port name let's see what is the name which we have given consumer underscore imp consumer underscore imp so i have connected it and uh, same so p underscore h dot producer dot put dot connect so here i am going to have cb underscore h dot and uh, in the consumer b it is the port name is b underscore imp b underscore imp and uh, here it is cc underscore h dot c underscore imp so i have connected this uh, port with my implementation port and followed by end function and end class now let me create a test class which is extending from uvm test and let me register it function new string name is equal to test and uvm component parent and super dot new of name and parent end function and in a build phase uvm phase super dot build phase here i am going to first of all declare the handle of my environment envh so env envh now i am going to create the instance of my environment env type id so i have created my instance of my environment and followed by end function and end class now within a top module i am going to run my test here it is uvm macros.svh let me save this and run this again and there should be a semicolon here and here also we should give a semicolon yes so let me run this it is consumer yes so it has been successfully compiled now let's see what we are getting so here we are getting uh, from the producer the value of data is 20 and uh, from the consumer a we are getting received the value of a is equal received value 20 and consumer b also received value 20 and consumer c also received so simple using a single producer using the analysis port uh, it is broadcasting and all the three modules are receiving it yes so this is how we are going to use our analysis port for broadcasting yes so that's all about this particular video so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vlc thank you for watching this video